welcome to More Than A Few Words, a marketing conversation for business owners. This is your host, Lorraine Ball. And let's face it, the old saying, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody is around, does it really make a sound, kind of applies to your marketing and social media. If you're putting content out there and nobody's noticing it, are you really doing anything valuable for your business? Well, that's the topic we're going to dive into today. And to have the conversation, I've invited Deidre Shen to join me. She is the co-founder and CEO of CapShow, the world's first AI-powered podcast copywriter. CapShow is a software that helps experts who podcast create their AI-generated episode titles, player descriptions, show notes, social media captions, promo, email, blog post, LinkedIn article, and YouTube description in under 10 minutes. Okay, I'm curious, but she's also the creator of Content Honey Traps, author of Honey Trap Marketing and host of the Grow My Podcast show. Deidre, welcome to the show. Ah, oh, thank you so much for having me, Lorraine. I loved your intro. That was like, you're a pro. I can tell you've been doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I probably have a few of these in the can, but you know what? Every conversation is different. Everybody brings their own perspective. And I'm really curious because obviously you've been studying social media and visibility on social media in order to create this tool. What do you think for somebody, whether it's a podcast or really any business, mm. if they're playing on social media and want to get the most out of it, where do they start? Yeah, um, this was a big mindset shift. So I'll, I'll talk about the, the the shift first, and then we can get into the, sort of the tactics. I was, you know, when I had my coaching business. So I had my coaching business probably about four years ago, and that was when I had my first podcast as well. Um, at the time, it was called the Growth Boss Podcast, and it was helping e-commerce business owners with their digital marketing, uh, which is kind of ironic because I. Like I did know a lot of ins and outs of things like SEO and things like that. But um, for as it pertains to social media, I fell into that trap and I'm sure a lot of b- business owners do of I just need to promote my things. So when I had my podcast, it was I was posting about the fact that this episode just got released because surely if I'm excited about it, everyone else should be excited about it too, right? <laughs> and um, it's it was a little bit of a, um, a wake up. I had to have a bit of a wake up call because that's actually not how social media works. And even though I had theoretically heard, you know, like I had people, coaches and other people that I'd follow online be like, you have to be social on social media. I was like, I, it didn't quite mean anything to me, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, did you have that similar? Oh, you know, it's so funny because I used to teach courses in social media marketing. And that's exactly the thing I would say at the beginning is it's called social right yeah exactly. it's, it's social it's this is not television this is not radio this is not you screaming at me and me but you know what i still there are platforms where i'm very social and yes. then there are platforms where i'm still just posting because that's all that platform requires yeah and it's you know and i talk about the 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 shift that i needed to make and it didn't, it didn't really come to life for me until I actually started doing the thing. And to be fair, I didn't really know what I had to change. Like, you know, I, I wasn't, it's not that I was working with anyone, but um, I started literally in the last few, um, you know, 12 months. Uh, I have a really good friend called Katie Brinkley. Um, she, and I'm going to kind of steal her tactic and, and share her strategy with you <laughs> today. But when I started to implement her strategy it just clicked for me. And the shift that I really want to talk about is not only is it, it is a social platform, but I think that what gets lost in that is what does being social actually mean? You know, like, I think that's where I got stuck a lot of times. Like social is just such a, it's, I I don't know what that meant. And it wasn't until I kind of really implemented her strategy that I was like, oh, what it really comes down to is how do we just have empathy for our audience? Like, let's just take away the fact that it's you that's on social media and you're obviously trying to get a particular result or particular outcome. Like, let's put that to the side. It doesn't really matter. But if you just think about who it is that you want to attract and the types of conversations that you want to have with them, that's all you have to do. And, and, it, it was just 
it sounds, when I say it, it sounds so like a duh, but like I had to actually go through it. And I think a lot of us do to actually understand what it means. So that was kind of the, the shift first I wanted to, to chat about. Thinking about what is it that other people want to hear from you? They don't necessarily want to hear how you made a million dollars. They don't necessarily want to hear, they want to hear stories about when, when things are going well for you, what does that look like? When things are going well for your clients, but they also, the other piece of it is they want to see you pay attention to them. And that's the other side of social. It's not just about your content, but it's about finding those other people where you have to be sharing and talking to other people also. Yeah. And that's why the, um, so I'm going to, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll I'm going to be taking you through Katie's four step social media posting strategy. And the genius thing about it is that embedded into that are all the things that make social, like it comes back to the social thing. It, it comes back to how do you actually open a conversation? How do you bring the rest of your community in? And community mm. might be users or clients. It could also be just partners. It could just be friends. Um, but, you know, that actually starts to bring to life you and your life, if that makes sense. So like, mm. yeah, it's it's just this genius way of, and then, and then when I, it, it started with like, okay, I just have to do these things. And she was kind of coaching me through it, through that. But then when I realized like how well it worked, I was like, oh, <laughs> now it makes sense. I get it now. I get what it, what people mean when they say be social on social media. <laughs> so, yes. I don't want to run out of time before we yes. hit the four things. So, yes. okay. number one, what's the first step in making a great post? Yes. Um, so, the, it's actually four different types of posts I'm going to take you through really quickly. And uh, it, they there's no like – rhyme and reason into t in terms of timing as in you could do four week if you wanted to you could do four months you could do four a every two weeks it, it really doesn't matter but um the first type of post that you want to be posting is what katie calls an awareness post and this is literally just um asking a question like so depending on the platform as well if you're on linkedin polls work really well um for engagement so does on facebook you know uh, uh just a statement on one of those you know that the, the colored background or like an unpopular opinion or something works really well to just grab that attention and have people actually responding to something that you want to open up the conversation about. Um, so that's like the awareness post. Does that make sense, Lorraine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then the next one is um, the next post is then what she calls an elaboration post. So it's kind of what whatever that topic was that you opened the dialogue about, then you want to go deep into that because you clearly open the conversation for a reason, whether that's because you had a guest on to your podcast or your YouTube channel that talked about that um, topic or you yourself are an expert in that, um, you want you want to go a little bit deeper in that elaboration post to really start to give. You're giving value at this stage. So that's the second type of post. What I love about that is you, with the awareness, you're engaging your audience and you're asking questions, but now with the elaboration, you get a chance to demonstrate your expertise. Exactly. And if people have actually commented particular questions or, or insight, like you can bring that into your elaboration post and even tag them and then you're starting to build community and this is you know going back to being social on social media um so that's the second type of post the third type of post is what um katie calls community post and this is where it is much more of not you as an expert or your guest as an expert this is really where you want to show your life um now you want to keep it relevant to the topic but it might be that you know um like i talk a lot about partners that i work with and how and and i always find a way to to tie it back to the theme that I'm trying to, to talk about for the week. And so I will tag my partners or I might be talking about clients or, you know, capture users and I'll tag them. And again, it's a really, really great way to just bring these other people that you're tagging to the conversation as well. Um, so that's what I really love about the third post, which is a community post. And then you wrap up with the fourth post which is the action post. Yep. So this is where, you know, because clearly we do want to use social media to get leads or, you know, to have people even sign up to a lead magnet or try something, or listen to your podcast, you know, whatever that is. And so this is where we wrap up the, the four posts to be like, hey, we opened the conversation about this particular topic. I gave a bit, but not everything because that's impossible in a post. Um, I tied it back to, you know, this is what I've learned or I partnered with, you know, it's, brought people or 
just talked about my life, you know, about the fact that I just got a new puppy and this is what he's taught me about X, Y, Z, you know. Um, and then we want to be like, and hey, if you want to learn more, if you this is of interest to you, come do this thing that, you know, and this is where it's up to you, you know, do you want them to listen to your podcast? Do you want them to come and join a webinar or whatever that is? So that's the fourth type of post, the action post. Awesome. And I love this because each of these different types of posts stand on their own, mm-hmm. work really well together. Yes. And so I'm going to wrap here and I'm going to encourage anybody, if you guys are listening, if you're curious about any of the things that Deidre has been talking about, there are going to be all sorts of links in the show notes to her website cap show, but also a link to her LinkedIn platform. You can see in real time mm-hmm. how she's social on social media. Yeah. Deidre, thank, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Thanks for having me. And if you do want to learn more and um, nerd out on the, that social media um, tactic and how Cap Show can help, um, please join us at in the Cap Show Club. That's you can do that club c l u b dot dot com. We'd love to see anyone there. Wonderful. I'll include that link as well. And. If you've enjoyed this conversation and you'd like to find other marketing tips, listen to another episode. They're short. Look for MTFW wherever you listen to podcasts. This has been another episode of More Than A Few Words. Thanks for listening.